Is Elite Motion really worth buying for VTubing? We know that a majority of the VTubing applications out there support Elite Motion, but is it something that you're actually going to use all the time? Well, in today's video, I'm going to go through the goods and the bads of the Elite Motion that I personally have found and give you my opinion if it's something that you should really purchase. Make sure you watch until the end of the video because some of these facts might surprise you. My name is Anubis Lewis, and I I'm your VTuber Senpai, and on this YouTube channel, we cover anything and everything VTubing and soon to be VR related. So if you happen to like today's video, consider smashing that like button. Also, consider subscribing as I do upload here every week. So I have a new video coming out all the time that may interest you. I also stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So come on by, say hi. Let's talk about anime, gaming, VTubing, all that fun stuff. A link for my Twitch and all my social media in the pinned comment down below. All right, let's get into it. So let's start off with some of the good stuff about Elite Motion. Elite Motion is a fantastic tool to have because it can bring a character to life by making different hand gestures, finger movements, stuff like that. It does convey more emotion to your audience. Like I just stated, hand gestures are a crazy cool thing that you can do with Elite Motion. Not only that though, is you get control of every single finger on your hand. So if you want to make a peace sign, if you want to do a thumbs up, if you want to do whatever you want with your hands, you can do that. You don't have to worry about pressing any kind of emote key or your software. It just, you just do it with your own hands. And that's a cool thing about Elite Motion is people can see your hands at work the way you would use them. So if you're somebody that talks with their hands like myself, it, it, it gives you more of you. It gives the audience more of you, which gives you a little bit more of a connection, a better connection to have. So if you are a VTuber that likes to chill in the just chatting, or if you're a VTuber that likes to sing, this is something that could be immensely valuable to you. Another great thing about Elite Motion is that you don't have to have sensors all over your room. It's something that just connects to your chest captures your hands, captures the movements with actually pretty high accuracy, which is fantastic because at the end of the day, you don't have to use a whole bunch of unnecessary USB ports. You just need one USB 3.0 and that's it. So let's go over some of the negative sides about having Elite Motion and the common misconceptions about them. One major negative thing about Elite Motion is basically it has to be on your chest for it to really detect properly. And the reason for that is a lot of VTubing software makers actually design it to work on the chest and not really on the monitor or on the keyboard, kind of like how Elite Motion advertises on their website. So at the end of the day, if you want proper functionality, more than likely you will actually have to have it on your chest. Now, some people in my community actually have told me that they've had success with it laying on their keyboard. The only downside about that is it doesn't give you tracking beyond a certain point where with the leap motion on your chest, you can go from your chest to your monitor and it'll still track everything as it should. Another downside of the leap motion is unfortunately they don't sell the clip required for it to attach to your chest. So you actually have to get either really, really creative by hot gluing it to a clip, or if you have a 3D printer, print out a 3D clip for your Elite Motion. Now, if you do happen to have a 3D printer or a friend that has a 3D printer, I will leave a link to those files down below. But I also do have a 3D printer myself, so I will be making these clips available to the community for you guys to purchase. Basically, it's cost of the printing plus shipping. Now, a common misconception I always hear and a lot of people say is that in fact, it'll work in a USB 2.0 port. I'm sorry to say that's not true. Unfortunately, Elite Motion requires some extra power from the USBs, so you do have to use a USB 3.0 port or it just simply will not work. Now I'm gonna give everybody perspective from a FPS VTuber type person. I don't actually use Elite Motion much when I'm streaming. If I'm doing something like just chatting or for example, watching Daily Dose, I will use Elite Motion quite a bit. But when I'm playing my FPS games or MMOs on stream, I'm usually having my hands on the mouse and keyboard and very, very, very rarely is it actually on my chest detecting my hands. The reason for that is because the leap motion kind of points down just a little bit and will actually see your hands on the mouse and keyboard 
and it kind of looks kind of funny with your hands floating in midair. And that's kind of why earlier when I said, if you are somebody that's just chatting or singing, you're gonna get a lot of use out of it because your hands are going to be free most of the time. But if you are one of those people that do FPSs or whatever games like that, and you think you're gonna use it a lot, definitely, definitely go for it. It is a cool tool. It is a cool utility to have. And at the end of the day, it's what you want to do for your streams. If you own Elite Motion, and if you happen to agree or disagree with anything I said here, please leave me a comment down below. Even if you don't own Elite Motion, let me know some feedback if you're planning on getting one, why, what kind of streaming you're doing, and, well, your thoughts about them. Again, my name is Anubis Lives. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Come on by, say hi. I would love to see you there. And, well... I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.